When you work seven or eight days straight, it does catch up to you. It's Sunday, so yes, yeah, seventh day for me, eighth day for you guys, so I have no room to complain, <laughs> even though I feel like I'm doing 99%. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing, we're working hard because we have a deadline and we're doing these jobs. We don't have the luxury of there's always tomorrow. We have flights that are going back home and we can't really change those and we're busy back home. So we set these goals and we have to get them finished every single day and that's why we work these long hours. Not to think that we don't have fun a little bit in between. And we had a pizza party today. <laughs> <laughs> When's the last time you guys had a pizza part? <laughs> we are going to build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. far end of the pond is pretty well done minus some gravel in the bottom the waterfall is looking like it's about 90% there we got to finish some rock work to the left hand side here to flank this out and then we're gonna work our way over to the right this is where Brian's gonna focus with Ralph and Jay we're gonna be cutting in a small patio area here got to finish the top edge of the pond and then we got to start putting some steppers in they're gonna make their way up to the top where the wetland filter is <laughs> This staircase is gonna come up along the right side of this big waterfall. And then up here at the wetland filter, we're gonna be crossing through. I set one boulder here that's gonna be the first stepper. Then we wanna take it out here into the middle and make our way to the backside. This area will have about six inches of water in it. So those steps will be in the water as you make your way across. Once we get that in, we're gonna be placing a few more rocks around the wetland to make it look like an upper pond area. Then we have our transition from the actual wetland filter to the waterfall. Here's where we're gonna be putting some more blocker rocks. So we've got a rock that's gonna go in here and one on that side so we can channel the water off of this weir stone. Right now, this is all backfilled with clean stone. We're gonna to need to do some bib liner in here, which means we need to seal up the top of this so the water flows over it and over the weir as opposed to going hitting the gravel and then going down behind everything. Three inch pipe you see here goes down to the bottom of the wetland where it meets those centipede modules. That way we can pump the water into the bottom, flow up through those aqua blocks and layers of rock and gravel coming out to the surface and then making their way out the waterfall. Let's get rolling on day nine. on the largest stone staircase I've ever personally worked on. Not the length, but these are built for giants, right? Like, oof, oof, oof. It's gonna be amazing. This stone step coming into here. We're gonna frame this out over in here. This one is set up so you can then step up onto this rock come out, sit by the waterfall. I'm picturing family photos probably every Christmas. I would assume I'm on Matt's guest list or however you say that, mailing list. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna come up this way, up into the wetland filter. You guys killed it up here. It looks awesome. So we'll just come in once we get our gravel, backfill some of these areas. I like this is your walking path. Yep. For giants. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is picking up where Brian's leaving off. So he's gonna get us up the elevation here. We took it from here. Now we've got steppers here. So stepper, 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 and then we're through the wetland over to there. Super interactive where you can actually walk through. There'll be about six inches of water in here. We finished off most of it with these really beautiful sandstone boulders that are giving us surround, leaving gaps for like where we can do those washes down there. We got the transition area done here. That is all foamed up and it's got our bib liner in. So that's ready to go as soon as we get water in here. This is where the water will be falling off down these huge cascades into the pond. Okay, boys, here we are, day 10, and I got some good rest last night. I feel really good about today. What are we doing here this morning, Brian? Today we're working on the largest stone staircase I've ever had the privilege to work on. Each one of these treads weighs well over a ton. That's 2,000 some pounds, for those of you who don't know what a ton is. The next piece that's coming in is well over 11 feet long. We have some that are 11 feet long, plus four foot wide, 12 inches thick. So it's gonna be challenging. I think the most fun part about this, though, is the way it's all tied in with the waterfall. So as you come up this staircase here, there's another step onto this big rock, which then gets you right out to the waterfall. Can you say family photo? We've got to finish off the cove down here. This is where we're going to be doing our crossing with our floating stepper. I am in love with this staircase. This is gonna be the ultimate secret garden staircase because when this is all planted, you will hardly even see most of it from the house or most vantage points. You're gonna to have to walk up on it to discover it. Coming up through all these boulders, these gigantic steps look just phenomenal. Working your way up to the top. Right now, Anthony's working on the finishing touches along with Bill, just doing some chipping on that stone to get it just right. You'll cross here and it brings you right to the constructed wetland where you can step through the water, stepping stones over to the other side and then back down around. That being done gets us one step closer to finishing here. I think three days ago we said we're gonna just wrap this up and then what happens is we get excited about doing creative stuff and not focusing on the finish work, but we need to get this finish work done over here because tomorrow trees and plants and all kinds of landscaping stuff needs to happen over in here and we don't wanna be in their way. So we have to button all this up. So that's just coming along, finishing our edges. Here we're just gonna kind of beach out some gravel. This would be an ideal spot for a bunch of aquatics sitting in here back in here we just got to get the liner up high especially this is always a dangerous spot right here where the pipes come up and over the liner you want to make sure that the bottom of your pipe is a good five six inches higher than your water level not the top because that doesn't matter the liner comes out from underneath here we want to make sure that this is rock solid in fact we might even shove like a brick or something underneath here just to make sure it's really secure and then we'll button up everything else We went hard at it yesterday into the night and we got to where we want to be. Our edges are all buttoned up, ready for them to come in and do the landscaping. There's gonna be a tree that's planted right here. That's gonna give us the effect of the water going into the intake, making the turn, making it seem like it keeps going down through the landscape. We gotta drop a little bit of soil in here. This is gonna be a big plant pocket for terrestrial plants, creeping over the wall, kind of softening that edge up, making it a really cool live edge. Over here on this side of the pond by the intake, we got Brian Helfridge up here. He is buttoning up the waterfall, getting it ready to run. And this awesome staircase has come together up through here connecting over the wetland filter through the stepping stones off the other side that is just probably one of my favorite parts of this job is this staircase it's pretty epic yes
got everything buttoned up on that side of the pond. Now we're finally at this far end where the 120 foot stream will be feeding into the pond. Our first order of business is we need to get our crossing in. And for that, we'll be using these two very large slabs. Each slab is about 10 feet long, over 2,000 pounds. They are massive, just gonna be beautiful. What I see happening is this cutout here and this peninsula here are gonna kinda come together with a gap in between. So that means the bridge will come on almost like a point crossing over the pond. We wanna set them down in the water so maybe like two or three inches of the rock is exposed. The rest of it will be below water. This is the last day and all that's really left to do is just button up this cove here where the waterfall comes in from our future stream project. I set these two rocks here kind of like a pinch point. This one's angled in like this, this one's angled in like that. We're gonna get a rock in behind it or maybe several rocks that kind of even the water out. I wanna see it coming off the rock like this and off this side. We put this rock in here with a little air gap right behind it. That water's gonna go inside here, be churning like crazy. And the fact that it's so pinched down on both sides, it's gonna send it out quick. So that's going to push water all through this area on both sides, really kind of cleaning it out and sending it off into the pond. These steppers just turned out perfect. I don't know how we could have asked for a better meet up here with this, but that water's going to be doing this little chicane through here. It's going to be such a cool effect walking across here. The water's probably going to lap up right on here as you're crossing over and shoot out into the pond. From there, the jets pick it up and keep pushing it towards our intake. On this side of our large stepper coming from the barn is going to be a beach area this is more or less for the dog so we want to frame this out with maybe a boulder right here against this slab we're going to bring something out here to kind of hold it back and probably set one more rock there but the rest of it is just going to be sloped down in a gravel right down to the bottom this way the dogs can walk right inside here cool off in the pooling area and then they can maybe just lay around in the shallows of that beach You ready to plug this thing in? Huh? You ready to plug this thing in and see if it works? Yeah, let's see if it runs. Let's do it. There you go. That's cool, Jack. You like it? Oh, that's cool. I like the, the big one on the right. 